That's better. Uh, sorry, Lexine. I was next to the recharging station. Are you calling about tonight? No, because then it wouldn't be a surprise. I'm mad at you, Sam Caldwell. Why? Because you somehow forgot to tell me what you're doing today. It's just a routine excavation. Routine? You're extracting a marker. My supervisor, Leon's nuts with excitement. Did you know he's a unitologist? This is a big deal. Leon's always been nuts. Anyway, we don't know if it's a marker or just a big rock. That's why we're doing this, so the boffins can study it. Sam Caldwell, if you had an imagination, you'd be dangerous. We'll see about that tonight. Ooh, I look forward to it. Gotta go, honey. I love you. I love you, too. Later. Sam, come on. Get suited up quicker. The only date you'll have is with an overtime sheet. <laughs> Say no more. Lexine's already mad at me. She'd kill me if I bailed on her. Well, everyone else is standing by. All we're waiting for is you, so don't expect me to make excuses if we're still working tonight. Let's get this done. Sam, is your helmet secure? Sterling, this is Cooper. We're already out of sight. Where the hell are you guys? Yeah, we're on our way, boss. Be here in a minute. You seen that vidlog of the marker that's going around? Looks just like the one back on Earth. Just like the one the Unitologists claim is back on Earth, you mean? And there's one big difference. Earth is Earth. Whereas this beautiful place we call Aegis 7 is nothing but a ball of space rock. I mean, come on, what are the odds? Hey Banks, what do you need? The wind's blown out some of the track we laid. Rivet it back into place and get it tight. That thing's gotta be man-made. Hurry up, Cooper's already pissed off that we're late. Copy that. I'm right behind you, Sterling. These two, and watch your aim. I don't want to end up on crutches like Matthews. Central to Colwell. Those joints need to stay tight. Hold your rivet gun side right in the hole. Nice job. Again, let's get this thing on board. Lexine's right. Leon would flip if he saw this. Steady your hand there, Sam. 
I got it. Almost there. Looking good. Count and balance is stable. Gyro's online. Ready for load. Stand by. I'm starting the five down. see a thing without the lights. There should be a box of glowworms in the airlock storage chamber. We can use them. You were right. I found a glowworm. Look around. We should grab some supplies before we head down. engaged. We should be fine now. Shit. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Hold on! Wait a second. We don't know what's going on in there. What the fuck? God's name, are you good? Get off it! Tinker, stop! I'll shoot you! You know these limit guns pack a punch. Shit! Help me! He's out of his mind! Sterling! Ah. <clears throat> This. Sam, get that rock off. We may need it. Jesus Christ, we just killed someone. We don't have time to think about that. If we don't fix that tether fast, we'll all be dead. Move! Look out! More of them! They've all gone fucking crazy! Oh! <laughs> 
Okay, guys, let's go. Tether 16's a few levels down. Up ahead. You guys see that? It's blocked. Looks like they had problems down here before. This is a bad idea. We shouldn't have come this way. Sam, calm down. Cut that security line. Use that rock saw you picked up. Coming through. Lexine? They must have put this here to stop people coming up. I can't believe we're doing this. Stop! Don't do this! <laughs> what the fuck? Boss, some strange shit's going down here. I don't want excuses, Sterling. I want that gravity tether fixed. There it is, over there. It's coming, man. Oh, God. It's calling oh, us. Quiet. You hear that? They're coming. There's no way to hide. God help us all. Someone's trapped in there. Is there anybody left? I'll check it out and meet you in the gravity tether room. Go! It's death, Sam. Can't you see it? It needs our help. Egan, what the hell are you talking about? Get a grip! But Zachenko... He killed him! I know. But you saw what happened in there. It's... It's like it wasn't really him. You take that plasma cutter too. Listen to us. This is all wrong. Come on, Egan. I don't want to waste any more time down here. and get out of here. Look out! There's more! Shit! Get behind me! You don't understand. It's not right! We have oh, to end it! Shit! Ah. Egan, stop it! What are you doing? You can't stop it. You can't fight it. Ah. Ah. Don't... Don't make me shoot you! Egan, please! Oh, God! Oh, God, Egan. I'm sorry. This is Cooper. I can't reach Sterling or Egan. How are you guys doing? Something bad's happened. Egan, he went crazy. What? And everyone down here, they're trying to kill us. Egan's gone. 
You're breaking up. I can barely hear you. Just get on that tether before it starts a feedback loop and takes everything down with it. What's going on? that. Caldwell out. They all have to die. You know that. Get out of my head. good to hear you. Things are pretty bad right now. No. I mean, did you hear? Some unitologists just killed themselves in Union Square. There are pictures. It's horrible. Leon was there. People are flipping out all over the colony. We've been attacked and Egan went crazy. I killed him, Lex. You... Sam? Say that again. I killed Egan. I had no choice. He tried to kill me. I'm scared. Somebody just told me some sectors are losing oxygen, too. Hold on. That could be from the blast. The life support power room isn't far from here. You think that's what's wrong with the oxygen? Just hold tight, baby. I'll fix it. I promise. Oh, no! Stay away from me! support is through here. Now entering zero gravity. Warning. 
colony life support systems offline. There it is. Hope the anti-graph still works. Don't worry. Can't seem to focus. Why'd you kill me? I'm not a monster. Sam! Sam, what's the matter? <sighs> Nothing. It's all right. Just stay out of sight, okay? Be careful. I love you. I love you. <clears throat> <clears throat> You were... I've got to get out of here. Back to Lexine. We have to stop it. Is this even real? Not even packing a gun. You're shitting me. This is the guy that slaughtered his entire crew. Why'd you do it, son? All these people never did anything to hurt me. Lex. He's gone. Call Commander James and get Doc Schiarella down here. He's gonna have a busy day. Sam. Detective Nathan McNeil. Well, I'll be damned. Gabe Weller. When I requested help from the Ishimura, I didn't realize they had you on board. 
Transferred six months ago. It's been a long time, Nate. It's good to see you. No, it's been hell down here. Some extra hands will come in useful. Sorry, no cop duty. We have an errand. An errand? Gabe, we've got assaults, murder, suicides, almost 60 dead and dozens injured. Nobody here's ever seen anything like it. We just can't cope. Cope? Wasn't it you who pulled me out of a three-way firefight on Scorpio 6 and then went back in to plant limpets? And now some crazy miners have got you losing sleep? It's not that simple. So what is this errand anyway? Baines! Hutchins! Hey. You too, rookie. We need to get to the morgue. Think you can cope with giving us direction? I'll take you. I have to drop this off at evidence anyhow. What do you want with the morgue? The captain sent us to retrieve the bodies from the Union Square suicide before they pop the cork on the planet. But keep it quiet, okay? Oh, sure. Your crew's really inconspicuous. You gonna introduce us? Baines and Hutchins, two of my best. Detective. A pleasure. And Carklin's here as my rookie. It's an honor, sir. Sergeant Weller speaks highly of you. <laughs> Jeez. Don't let him fill your head with his macho tales, son. Baines, Hutchins, go prep the shuttle and wait for us. Yes, sir. All right. Follow me. So you're the rookie, huh? Must be why you got the shitty transport job. Actually, I'm here because Sergeant Weller doesn't want to handle corpses. I guess some things never change. Laugh it up, partner. McCabe to McNeil. Nate, you there? McNeil here. What's up? Multiple assault in the mess hall in your sector. Sounds like a riot down there. Are you up? Not right now. Higgins should be good for it, though. All right, thanks. McCabe out. I told you things were crazy down here. You sure this is the right morgue? We only have one. I was here just yesterday. It was a full house. Not anymore. I'll need to see a manifest. A captain won't like this. Sir, there's a toe tag here. Abbott, D. Ring any bells, McNeil? That's the crazy son of a bitch who led the mass suicide. Hold on, I'll pull him up. He's on file, but there's no record of a transfer. He should be right here. You? What are you doing here? Get out! Doc, you all right? Holy shit, he's lost it! Help! I got you back! Down. What do you reckon? Is that the body somewhere? Maybe. Let's go check. The hell? Is that normal? Not really, no. Hold on, I've got a glowworm. Whatever it was must have knocked out the elevator, too. Great. No lights, no elevators, no bodies. And a colony full of crazy people. Sir, what's going on? Keep it together, Private. Sergeant Weller to Ishimura. Come in, Ishimura. Damn it! We can get up through the medical hall instead. Let's go. That look in his eyes. Reminded me of a kid that went crazy last week. Just an engineer, but something in him snapped. 
You mean like these guys? Yeah, kind of. I don't get it. This is the same shit that's been happening all over the colony. It's like it's spreading. Calling to us, to death and and God. What did you say? Uh, sorry, nothing, sir. This is the only way through. Be ready for anything, Kirklands. Shut up! I'm trying to think. Psek, what's going on here? Stay out of this, cop. It's none of your business. Just tell me what the problem is, son. You don't want to hurt anyone, do you? No. No, you, you're trying to trick me. I can feel my head's gonna burst. I'll get one of the docks to look at it, okay? Just walk to me. Yeah, nice and easy. That's better. Now take it easy. No! Get out of my head! No! Don't take another step. I warned you! Jesus. Weller, you go on ahead to PSEC. Head through the lobby, then turn off the plaza. I'll stay here and deal with these guys. Do you want me to stay and help, sir? No. Come on, rookie. See you back at your office, McNeil. <laughs> Shit! Not you too! Back up! <laughs> Shit! I have to warn Weller and Carcoons. If anyone's out there, come out. Identify yourself. I warned you! Don't take another step!
Jesus. The whole colony's gone to hell. When you got here? Worse. Had to fight our way through. Sounds like your rookie's losing it. Yeah. Reckon whatever's gotten to everyone else down here has gotten to him too. Shouldn't you take his firearm? If he cracks, I'll deal with it. The day I can't put down a rookie is the day I hang up my boots. Ah! Thanks for the help, Weller. Your rookie lost his mind and tried to kill me. Sucker punch. Can't believe Cockins did that. Neither of us is getting any younger. Shit! Where did these guys come from? The hell with this. Get inside PSEC. We can barricade ourselves in. Sounds like a damn good idea to me. myself. Get through that. And let's get to your office so I can call the issue more. See if Chief Benson's got the answers. Gunfire. Where's it coming from? Upstairs, I think. Shit. Maybe somebody got inside before us. But we just locked ourselves in. Whatever it is, it's our problem now. What's he talking about? Dunno. He can't mean the colonists. Is there something else in here? Either that, or he's flipped like everyone else around here. And they're trying to kill us. Isn't life dandy?
hell are you? Easy, Weller. She's not p -Sec. I'm McNeil. What's your name? Lexine. Lexine Murdoch. Well, Lexine, you're a lucky girl. Lucky? My boyfriend was killed last week. My father's gone missing, and now this? Wait a second. I recognize you. You're Sam Caldwell's emergency contact. Sam was my boyfriend. Listen, I'm sorry about what happened. What are you doing here? My father's missing. He disappeared at the same time all those unitologists killed themselves. I came to see if there was any news, but then those... things came in and started killing everyone. What's happening? I'm not sure. But it's not good for anyone. Ishimura! The colony is under attack from unknown hostiles! Come in, goddammit! Orbital comms must have gone down with the rest of the electrics. We're on our own. Wait. You're from the ship? Yes. Special Security Task Force. Then why don't we just go there? You must have a shuttle, right? She's right. Baines and Hutchins will be waiting for us. Come on, McNeil. Wait! What about me? Go home, lock yourself up, and sit tight. Home? Are you crazy? I've lost everyone. Sorry, sweetheart, but you can't you know, come with us. You know, pretty decimated. We can't handle another missing persons case. What are you talking about? Which is why you should come with us. Right, Sergeant? She's your responsibility. Fine. Let's go. Are you from the ship too? No. I'm a PSEC detective. Nate McNeil. Well, thank you, Nate McNeil. Just doing my job. Got enough firepower, Weller? Enough! No such thing. No way they did this to each other. They probably thought they'd be safe inside Pisa. And we kept them out. They were trying to kill us. Remember that. Kind of quiet all of a sudden. I feel like I'm being watched. Because we probably are. Keep it tight. Shit! Look out! Oh God! They're not aliens. They're people. Were people. Whatever they are now, it isn't human. 
Let's just get to the shuttle. Mission Square. Let's go. What do you make of that? Somebody was trying to keep the bad guys out. We'll have to clear it. Incoming! Keep going! I'll hold them off! Don't need to rebuild the barricade. And I thought I was the optimist here. Mission Square's right up ahead. We should keep moving. I remember this area. The shuttle base just off the square, right? That's right. Good. Baines, Hutchins, give me a sit rep. In the shuttle and standing by, Sarge. It's bloody chaos down here, though. I had to break a few noses to stop people piling in with us. Everyone's looking for a way out. Look! There's one taking off now! There's a sight for sore eyes. Wait. Something's wrong. She's gonna crash! Get down! <laughs> No. Look at them. All those people. Dead. Every shuttle in the bay. Destroyed. Damn it! Baines and Hutchins were in there. God damn this fucking place! What's your name? <coughs> Warren... <coughs> Warren Eckhart. Executive Director of Colonial Mining Operations. Quite a mouthful. You're lucky to even be alive after that. The shuttles! They're all gone. We're stuck here. Not necessarily. There's a surveying shuttle in the Sector 8 maintenance bay. Are you sure? Quite sure. I hitched a ride on it yesterday from the Ishimura. You're from the ship? What are you doing here? CEC business, and none of yours, Sergeant. Who cares? Let's just find the shuttle and go. For all we know, those things are all across the colony. Are you ready to fight your way through them? We may not have to. Megavent 12 runs underneath the colony, and I'm sure there's an exit into the maintenance bay. So how do we get into this... Megavent? There's an equipment lift ahead. It should take us straight down. Then what are we waiting for? We can't get in! Damn! McNeil, clear that debris!
one. Go, go, get in. With pleasure. What's wrong? Why is it stopped? The power's done. There must be a broken connection. I'll fix it. down there. We can seal it to keep them out. Hold it right there! Don't shoot! I'm on your side! I'm just hiding from those things! Not for long. They're on our tail. What? Then keep it down! They'll hear us! Wait, you mean they're down here? and plug it over the hatch. Move! Now hold it steady while I fix it into place. It won't hold like this, McNeil. Rivet another bolt in there. Here. We can use this piece to reinforce it. How long has it been like this? We found a little last week. I didn't think much of it. Today, this. Look, up there. Yeah, I see it too. Sarge, this is Baines. Are you there? Baines! Jesus, I thought I'd lost you. If we hadn't been inside the shuttle, we'd be toast. It's a wreck, though. We won't be flying anywhere in it. Where are you? We're in a megabed, heading to the Sector 8 maintenance bay. There's a shuttle we can use. But we sealed off the entrance here. Can you find another route? We'll do our best, Sarge. See you there. What happened here? I don't know. Man, that's a lot of bodies. But none of them are human. Wait. What's this? This is Amanda Castle, a surveyor of Aegis 7. I'm concerned about the dementia people here are suffering. After we brought the artifact inside, the marker, as the unitologists call it, the extraction team all went crazy. The brass said it's coincidence, but that's bullshit! Now, half the miners are suffering from some weird dementia. 
But nobody dares suggest it's because of the artifact. Well, I will, and I don't like where this is going. Dementia? Interesting. Why? We've all seen what she was talking about. Indeed. So why aren't we going crazy too? He's right. None of us have been affected. I guess. Unless I'm crazy and uh, you're all figments of my imagination. You don't have that much imagination, Weller. Can we hurry up and find the shuttle? You can all play shrink once we're in orbit. He's right. No use standing around here. Move out. that carefully what was that it's a freight truck for moving equipment I just saw one of the flying creatures down there get moving Scene. You okay? You've been quiet ever since you found that audio log. Yeah, I'm fine. Just... Just thinking about my dad. He worked here in the vents. Hey. It's a little early for the past tense. He could be on one of the shuttles that already left. We'll look for him when we get to the ship. Everyone's looking for someone. What was that? Yeah, nothing. You're just mumbling. Ignore me. Stay there. I'm gonna check it out.
What did you find? It's clear. Run 24 hours. Officer Hutchins to Sergeant Weller. Come in, sir. Weller here. Watch your 20, Hutchins. We're in the hub corridors. There's some kind of foreign substance all over. It's like, like meat growing out of the walls. We've got the same down here, but it seems to be inert. You getting any trouble up there? Negative, sir. We've hardly encountered anything. I think we're being watched, but that's all. Let's hope it stays that way. Weller out. There's no point in fighting those things if we're just going to fight amongst ourselves, too. Shh. Listen. Oh, God. How are we supposed to stay safe if those things can fly? Stay between me and Laura. We'll protect you. ground. Yeah. 
up, we're dead. Jesus, I'm too old for this. You're doing fine, soldier. I've got your back. Damn it. This place is a wreck. Now what? We can't go back. What about the air vents? They go all over the colony. Are you mad? The aliens would be in the vents too. Sarge, this is Baines. Weller here. Watch your 20. Pretty close to the maintenance bay, but things are getting serious. There's a gang of hostiles up ahead, and no alternate route. We'll have to go through them. Be careful. I want to see you both alive when we get there. No worries, Sarge. Ben's out. All right. That settles it. How do we get into the air vents? There's an access panel over there, but I don't know if I have enough clearance to unlock it. The hell with clearance. I'll get it. I thought you didn't want to go through the vents. I don't want to be out here at feeding time either. Go! Go! Get in there! a new type of creature. Really fast, hard to kill. Use the stasis module to slow it down. Get a move on, McNeil. Going as fast as I can. Oh no. Eckhart was right. They're in here with us. Bloody way! You're gonna get us all killed! Everybody, turn around! No, wait! There's a loose panel over there. We can use it to get across. Then do it, and fast! before we get there. Baines and Hutchins are two of my best. They'll wait, and they'll have that shuttle ready. Come on, we can't be far now. Just watch your step. The hell was that? I can't see anything.
gone. Come on, move. That smell. It's disgusting. Oh, oh, crap! right next to the maintenance bay. This is it. We made it. Here's your men. Paint, this is Bella. We're right behind you. I see you, Sarge. <laughs> Hit a spot above her when we got here. Sam, the shuttle's locked. We can't get inside. My access code will open it. Then let's go for it. Everybody ready to run? We'll meet you halfway. I'll take point. Eckhart, stay close. Go! We're coming! Behind those crates!
Don't just stand there, Sergeant. Come on! Good work, soldier. This is bigger than we thought. Relax. It's dead. Eckhart, get up here and second me. I can fly, but I don't know survey craft. Thank you, Nate. Without you, we wouldn't have got this far. Don't mention it. Ishimura, this is the survey shuttle Vestry. Come in, Ishimura. Damn it! Forget it and hang on. We're heading into the debris field. Be careful! This shuttle's worth a fortune! Not if we crash. McNeil, make yourself useful and man the cannon. Listen here. I am Warren Eckhart, Executive Director of Colonial Mining Operations. I repeat, clearance to land is denied. Any approach will be considered hostile. Hostile? Is he insane? Fuck that! We're coming in! Holy shit! No! Oh my god! It's coming right at us! Hold on to something. Trust is a fright! We're gonna die! We're gonna for this! McNeil! Intercept that cannon fire!
Hey, Cut. You okay? I'm... <laughs> Integrity 18%. Oxygen depletion imminent. Abandoned ship. We've got to move. Eckhart, does this thing carry any suits? Four. For surveying. Good enough. Everybody suits up. Weller, you know the Ishimura. Is there another way on board? Yeah. Should be a maintenance airlock about 200 meters poor. Taking your time, McNeil. Why do they have to make them so damn tight? Punches. Survey teams don't like their guys getting popped in zero G. Everyone ready? Yeah. Space walks. Yeah? Well, I hate dying more. Let's do this. Now entering zero gravity. Goes no good. Let me try. I have executive clearance. Shit. Luxine, what about you? If it won't open for me, it won't open for a bloody waitress. I'm a grade two surveyor. That's enough. McNeil, there should be an override in there. Are you all right? Nate, what happened? 
happened. There was a flash. The airlock blew. Come on, let's get you inside. Thank you for not leaving me. You're not like Weller. <laughs> Amen to that. You're alive. Yeah, we're okay. Eckhart, close the airlock. Where are we? Crew deck. Should be a comms room around here. So let's see who's home. lock the door if there's nobody in here. I'm sure they've got their reasons. Bridge, this is Sergeant Weller, security. I've just got back from the colony. Bridge, come in. Oh no. No, it's happening here too. Those things are on board. Hey, calm down. For all we know, that feed could be from the colony. You don't really believe that. <laughs> Easy now. Stick with us. We'll protect you. Sure you will. Have you seen those things? Yeah. And killed a few too. McNeil, what do you think? Bridge? Will the bridge be safe? Safer than down here. Let's go. seen it so quiet. Wait, move! Get away from the door!
We must get off the Ishimura somehow. Hang in there, Eckhart. You too, Lex. If we're smart, we'll figure this out. Shit! Booby trap! Get back! Out of the way! Stay right there. McNeil, you can defuse that, right? Who did what? this? I don't get it. Security, perhaps? Trying to secure the area? There's 800 miners on board. Any one of them could have set this. Shut up and let the man concentrate. security. Why isn't anyone helping? Everybody calm down. Panicking won't help. didn't stand a chance.
What the hell were you thinking? You were supposed to be protecting us! Tell us our survivor. Everybody's seeing things that aren't there. Hey, McNeil says he saw someone. That's good enough for me. Keep moving. Shit. This gets worse by the minute. Don't even look. Just keep going. We're not gonna make it out, are we? Neil, can you fix that elevator? We need to get off this deck. You seriously think the bridge is still safe? Only one way to find out. Help! Get back! Help it's me! the elevator! Go! Go! This is the only way through. Get your head straight and stay focused.
feels so good. Your nose is... Nathan, she's very pale. Can we stop for a moment? No time. Man up, sweetheart. McNeil, take point. I'll cover you. Man, they took this place apart. Minute, where are we going? We should be heading for a shuttle, not a mess hall. This is the only way through. Get your head straight and stay focused. Big went down here. What a mess. We're all dead. Everyone's dead.
That was the last. Let's move. Are you sure? We thought that before. I... I don't feel anything. Everybody freeze! Drop your weapons! Hold your fire, I'm Sergeant Weller, ship security! I said drop it! On your knees! Wait! You don't understand! very high. Brain activity is off the charts. Let's get you out of there. I'm going to wake your friends too, so you should get dressed. With you in a moment, detective. Nicole Brennan, by the way, senior medical officer. Are you feeling it? Fine. A little dizzy. What happened? Is this medical? Quarantine, actually. Security said they found you in the infected area and wanted you checked out. Infected? Is that what you're calling it? Don't worry, you're all clean, and the dizzy spells will pass. Eckhart, do you need anything? I'm, I'm fine. Just give me a minute. Mr. Eckhart, are you alright? Shit! Relax, it's my fault. I shouldn't have left the sergeant's tube. We lock everything down when procedure is not followed precisely. We'll just have to wait. Wait? For how long? Couple of hours, maybe. Or until an engineer overrides a lockdown from outside. We don't have a few hours, Doctor. And nobody's gonna come help. The infection here is the same as on the colony, and that means nowhere is safe. But it's just a small infection on the crew deck. Small? Doctor, bodies are piled up down there. What about that vent? Is that a way out? Theoretically, yes. But I wouldn't recommend it. We're on the outer edge of the ship here. One wrong turn and you could be floated out into space. It's worth the risk. I'll go outside and override the lockdown. No, you're still too weak. You're a doctor. Can't you give him something? All right. Here you go. If you start to feel weak, or your vision goes, this should restore your vitals. You should wear a suit too, in case you take one of those wrong turns. outside this room, but I doubt the vents lead straight there, so when you find it, radio me. Eckhart, give me a leg up. Seems healthy, despite the results you found? I wouldn't let him leave quarantine if I didn't think she'd be okay. I would like to run more tests, though. I'm fine. Even my headache's feeling better now. Don't worry about me.
to abandon you like this, but we don't have any other choice. Zero G therapy. Harry, Weller's still stuck in his tube. He's not happy. Zero gravity. This is McNeil. Nate, you made 
Yet, good to hear you're safe. There should be a console there that you can use to override the lockdown. Yeah, something hit the ship. I'm all right, but the hull's breached. The console's still okay. I'll try to override the lockdown. Oxygen's low. I'll have to take a different route back. We'll wait for you. someplace I recognize. Alert. Launch sequence for escape pod procedures initiated. All personnel must proceed to emergency shuttles immediately.
This is McNeil. About damn time. Put your 20. You're fine, though. Thanks for asking. And wouldn't you know it? I'm in a damn morgue. That's not far. Wait there. We'll come to you. God, you're all right. We must stop meeting like this. Believe me, another morgue is the last place I want to be. By the way, you still want to talk to the captain? Uh, shit. He's dead. Oh my God. How did this happen? No idea. What happened with the escape pods? They all launched empty. No idea why. Can we please move on and discuss this elsewhere? Mr. Eckhart is right. Let's go through to ER. When was the last time you slept? Coming up to 24 hours, I think. But what am I supposed to do? I can't just leave everyone alone. A lot of people here. A lot of accidents on a ship this size. And we've had our share of fights the past week, too. That's odd. I stabilized him an hour ago. You thinking what I'm thinking? Sounds like it's gone. We have more patients in the hallway. I'm gonna check on them. Sure. Over here. Ah! 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 Look out! Let's go stay with you.
there are supplies in the it's that way. They all go. Hello? Nicole, keep it down. Oh god. They're in the vents. Too late. Open fire. There's a security station that way. Go! Find out. Get to the security station. We'll barricade ourselves in. Thank God you're here. You're not gonna tase me again, are you? What are you talking about? Quit gabbing and close that door. It's jammed, sir. So, unjam it. The rest of you, grab anything that isn't nailed down and finish that barricade. McNeil, get over here and start riveting. Sir, we have to get to engineering. 
Engineering. Our team is responding to an emergency call there. I'll stay. If things are this bad everywhere, the people will be coming here for help. In that case, you stay with her and keep that barricade secure. Me and McNeil will go to Engineering and back up your team. Good idea. Lexine and I will stay here too. What? No. The captain's dead and the ship is full of those things. I am not just going to sit here and wait to die. I'm coming with you. Then I suppose I'm coming too. Must be nice to finally grow a pair, Eckhart. Huh? Let's go catch a tram. Where's the tram? They're on automatic schedule. It should be here. Not according to this. Look. Attention all personnel. Tram service has been suspended on all decks. Service will resume in approximately 30 minutes. Great. What are we supposed to do until then? We walk. Engineering's not that far. In the pitch dark? Are you serious? Come on, Eckhart. Unbelievable. Nicole will be safe with those guards. The way this day is going, Eckhart, I wouldn't put money on anyone being safe. It's not just today. This all happened after we found that damn you marker. You can't seriously think the marker's responsible for this? Hey, you weren't on the colony this past month. Never seen anything like it. What are you, a marker head? A unitologist? Certainly not. I'm just saying it doesn't seem like it. My ass. If we hadn't found that thing, we wouldn't even... <laughs> Correct. God, as if we weren't all feeling terrible enough already. It's freezing. Here. We'll be out of here soon enough. Just keep moving. Who knows what the hell's down here? <laughs> Growing up, 
I always wanted to visit the Ishimura. But this is not what I had in mind. Lexine, where were you born? Earth. Why? Just curious. Looks like those creatures are having a time of it down here too. What the hell? They're adapting. What? Adapting to the environment. Great. I really don't like it down here. I mean neither, Lexine. Stay close, I'll protect you. See that? The exits are locked down. Looks like we're stuck here with those things. We haven't got all day. So, is it safe now? I feel like I'm being watched.
I hear something ahead. Sounds like a waterfall. We might be near the water treatment facility. There's got to be access from there to the rest of the ship. Let's go. There's a ladder. See, Eckhart? Back on solid grind in no time. Stay here. Should have made her stay with Nicole. It was her choice. We all knew it'd be dangerous. She could still be alive, you know. At least I hope so. Never had a chance to tell her about her boyfriend. Poor kid. You told her what she needed to know. Man up both of you. Not out of this yet. <laughs> You hear that? No. What? That. You can't hear it? Someone's crying. Is it Lex? I don't hear anything. Well, I do. Someone's crying, damn it. Don't tell me I can't hear it. Easy, Gabe. I didn't say that. Just calm down. Lex is down here somewhere. Yeah, we'll find her. Together, I can't. It's your fault we're in this mess. We're good as dead. It just hasn't got through your thick military skull yet. 
Quit it, Eckhart. We're bound to hit a few dead ends. Just keep looking for an open hatch. Son of a bitch! Finally, some higher ground. We'll get up there. I'm freezing. See there, where the pipes go? We'll have to go single file. Through there? You must be joking. Suck in those guts, gentlemen. Action fans broken. <coughs> I'll get it. Pick it up, McNeil. I'm choking here. Hurry up, Nathan. You can hardly breathe. these things. Finally. Felt like I was gonna pass out. God, that stuff's everywhere. Like it's taking over. And it smells like shit. Let's go. I didn't want to risk the open deck, so I came down through the filtration systems. I'm on my way to the water treatment room. Bring anyone else who got out with you and meet me there. See you soon. Ugh. Hold your fire. We need to conserve right. ammo. Huh? It's gone.
Alexine was right. Something's watching us. There! Where? No, it's gone. Damn. Stop it! Stop it! Be quiet! Whoa, stop what? Somebody's humming. I'm not humming. You humming? No. Don't crack on me, Eckhart. We're not what? out of this yet. Smell. There's a thousand crew on this ship. Wastewater has to go somewhere. Hello there! Freeze! I'm not going anywhere. And there's no need to point that thing at me. Who are you? Dr. Howell, agricultural engineer. And relax, that isn't grey water. We're below hydroponics. What you smell is nutrient effluence. Who are you? Sergeant Weller, ship security. What are you doing here? There was some kind of fight in hydroponics, and I heard on the radio about an attack through the vents. I decided to wait down here till security gave the all clear. Is that why you're here? Not exactly, Doctor. Why don't you get up here and tell me what's going on? Come and dry off. You must be wet through. Best bloody idea I've heard in a long time. <laughs>
enough. Look, there's a hatch on the roof. The doc said hydroponics was above us, right? Assuming she was telling the truth. You want to stay here, you go right ahead. I'm getting out. This is Dr. Karen Howell, agricultural engineer. Even the water facilities aren't safe anymore. And the creature I saw down there was huge. And the poor souls I met there are surely dead by now. As is almost everyone else. I haven't found a single living survivor since I've left hydroponics. And what I've seen of the creatures indicates they have an ecology, a culture. They hunt in packs. They harvest their prey. They're not monsters. They're animals. Deadly animals. There is nothing to do but run. I'm going to take a tram to the shuttle bay. Maybe I'll find some other survivors there. But I doubt it. I'm seeing things. God help me. Can anybody hear me? 
I know they're still out there. For God's sake, think rationally. We have to stop it. We have to make it Doctor. Yes, my name's Karen Howell. There's a medical room just around the corner. Can you walk? I think so. Be careful. The creatures are still out there. Sorry. Never mind. Let's fix you up. My head. I think I need to lie down. It would be better if you stayed awake. Can you do that for me? Now, let's take a look at you. I'm going to work up an antibiotic that'll give your system a kick start and clear your head. What's your name? How did you get here? I'm Lexine. I came here from the colony. With some friends. But we got split up in the water tunnels. Dear God, I saw them! They're here? 
Where? Lexine, I'm sorry. They were attacked. I don't think they survived. What? No! You don't know Ned. He wouldn't let them die. We have to go back to the tunnels and find them. All right, if that's what you want. But then we have to look for a way off the ship, okay? Okay, let's go. Where are you going? 
The water tunnels are this way. We'll be crawling with those things. I'm sorry, but your friends are dead. There's no way they could survive down there, and neither can we. We must get to the tram station. What were you and your friends doing on board the Ishimura? I thought there was a no-fly order. Don't you know? This is all happening in the colony, too. Oh, dear.
atmosphere control. It's the fastest route to the tram station from here. They were still alive. We're alive. No thanks to you, Doctor. That's enough, Eckhart. You'd have run too if you had the chance. I'm happy we didn't lose you. Thanks to Doctor Hoyle. She saved my life. A cop, a grunt, and a suit. Quite the team. Don't get me started. What are you doing there? Trying to trap those creatures in the water tunnels. But I can't work out how to shut down the water flow systems. Then allow me. Hydroponics is my domain, remember? Great. Get on it. Is he in charge? He likes to think so. We were headed for the tram station to get to the shuttle bay. Funny. So were we. McNeil with me. We can scout the route while the doc does her thing. I'm coming too. Sure. Eckhart, stay here and keep the doc safe. Of course. You take good care of her, okay? If it weren't for Dr. Hoyle, I wouldn't be here. I'm not a miracle worker, dear. Your injuries still need time to heal. Take care of yourself. Lexine said you were an executive. She didn't say your name was Eckhart. Warren Eckhart, isn't it? That's right. Executive Director... Of Colonial Mining Operations. I know. You transferred to the Ishimura just a few weeks ago. <laughs> Worst bloody career move in my life. Nice to know my reputation precedes me. Sure it does. You're the one who switched all the personnel after they found the marker. One day, I had an assistant who'd been with me three years. The next, I found myself working with a grad student who spent her lunch hour praying to the marker. Staff rotation is standard policy, Doctor. Resource distribution is my responsibility. And what about seeding unitologists into every corner of the ship? Is that your responsibility, too? I fail to see what difference someone's faith makes, Doctor. Look around, you stupid marker head. This awful mess is what difference it makes. If you think it doesn't... <laughs> Shut it no, Doctor. My God has very different plans. What's taking them so long? Maybe we should go back and check on them. Give them another minute. We made it down here without a scratch. I reckon this area is secure. Don't shoot! It's Eckhart! Run! They're everywhere! I don't see anything. They were right behind me. Following the lift. Don't worry. You're safe now. Where's the dog? What happened? We were attacked, and she... Hal locked herself in with them to buy us some time. Told me to go on. She's dead? You were supposed to protect her. She locked the door. There was nothing I could do. Frankly, she probably saved all of us. Are you sure? You thought I was dead before, but... Quite sure. 
I'm sorry, Lexi, but she's gone. And the time she bought us just ran out. Move! Get in the tram! Oh, oh God! to split up, find a shuttle. Is that really a good idea? The longer we stick around, the more chance of winding up like every other dead bastard on board. You and Lexine, check out the flight deck. What about you? Me and Eckhart can take the maintenance deck. We might get lucky and find a repair job. And this is us. Come on, Eckhart. Good luck. Why me? Didn't want to split the lovebirds up. still upright. Adrenaline, do me a favor and keep it together a while longer. This thing isn't over. Yes, well, I wish it was. We're not all soldiers like you. Just focus on keeping yourself in one piece. You seem pretty good at that. Look up there, in the vents. Some of that fleshy substance. Yeah, somehow I knew this wasn't going to be easy. Keep it tight. This wouldn't be as awful if it wasn't so bloody dark. Just stay close. We shouldn't have left Lexi. We shouldn't have split up. Who even knows if there's a shuttle down here? Eckhart, shut up! Or your big mouth will get us both killed. Okay, I can't. Keep moving.
shuttle. See a cut? Still in one piece. The escape pods are gone. They're all fucking gone. Systems show they launched empty. Please, get a hold of Vincent and tell her we're headed for the flight deck. We're gonna prep a shuttle and get off this bloody ship. Open this door. No, sir. My lieutenant's orders were not to let anyone in here. You'll have to wait till he gets back. Your lieutenant's probably dead. I'm ordering you to unlock this door. Look out! Soldier, get out here and cover me! Soldier, I'm only gonna say this one more time. Open the door! Sorry, sir. I, I can't risk them getting in here. You just watched us kill them all! Jesus. Poor bastard didn't even see it coming. Shit. The console's wrecked. Someone's got to go down there and flip the launch hatch by hand. Someone? I wouldn't even know what it looks like. Weller, there isn't a single shuttle on the flight deck. Every craft is either gone or wrecked. Figures, don't worry. There's one here. It needs a manual launch, but it should be okay. We're in Bay 47. Get here on the double. Weller out. I'll open the hatch. Eckhart, sit tight and wait for me. My pleasure.
Now entering zero gravity. There. The power cores. way there. Just one more to go. Zero gravity. McNeil, we're ready to launch down here. Bay 47, hurry! We're on the tram now. McNeil out. I believe it is vital Lexine undergoes further examination on Earth. Altman be praised. End of message. What the hell is going on here? Wella. This is confidential CEC business and none of your concern. How dare you? CEC? Sounded more like the church to me. But I guess there isn't much difference anymore, is there? You're in no position to question my authority, Sergeant. Don't talk to me about authority. Now, let's hear that again. This is Overseer Eckhart, code word oracle, with a message for Enigma Lang. Events on Aegis 7 and the Ishimura are extraordinary. The marker is genuine, though its effects are disturbing, and I am blessed to have survived. I have found the subject you were looking for, Lexine Murdoch, a, a surveyor. She appears immune to the marker's effects, as you predicted. Nobody knows but me. There was a botanist here who suspected my mission, but I've taken care of her. You son of a bitch! I'm afraid, sir. Sorry, sir. But I can't let you stop. I must save Lexi, so that she can save all of us. McNeil was right about you. So were you, actually. 
but I can't allow your ignorance to jeopardize Unitology's mission. Why Lexine? She fits the profile. I didn't even realize it until we all got on board. But it all adds up. The church sent me to find her, and you just made my job easier. But nobody except the church can know about her. Not even Lexine herself. Not that she would understand. How could she? She's never even experienced this madness that the rest of us succumb to so easily. You must be pretty pleased with yourself. Please, Sergeant. I'm not an arrogant man, merely devout. My reward will be... I guess nobody deserves to die like that. Not even... me. I still can't believe Dr. Hyle's gone. I just wish we could get even one person off, you know? I know. But there's us four. We've done okay so far. Wait. First, we should find out which floor Bay 47's on. Well, is probably pissed that we weren't there 15 minutes ago. You seem to care about him a lot more than he deserves. It's complicated. Honestly, I think he's enjoying this just because it's something he knows how to do. Hold on. There's an outgoing transmission in progress. More survivors! It could be. It's from medical. Oh my god! Nicole! Nicole! It's McNeil! L listen, we, we found I a shuttle. We... Shit, it's one way. She can't hear us. What's she doing? What? What's... Oh... No! Nicole, no! No! Damn it, Nicole! No! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we should go. Let's get out of here. Even my dad and Sam? What am I? Some kind of curse? Hey, I'm still here. You can't get rid of me that easily. I guess not. Okay, Lexine. Stay close. Got it. Something's not right. Weller should have contacted... Watch out!
Oh God. If those creatures are in here, Weller and Eckhart... They're okay, Lex. Trust me. Weller? Is this the right bay? Definitely. Weller! Sergeant, wake up. Lex, what happened? Eckhart's dead. Goddamn traitor killed the doc. And you were right. He was a unitologist. He, he was going to take the shuttle for himself. This isn't a stab wound. Son of a bitch shot me. Why? Who cares if he's a marker head? Why would he do that? I don't know. I think he finally went crazy, like the others. The shuttle. It can fly, right? We can get out of here? Yeah. I opened the hatch. The computer just needs to be configured for a manual launch. Uh, but there is one problem. I was afraid you'd say that. The ADS cannon. Remember the fireworks show we got on the way here? Shit. It's okay. I can do it myself. Like hell. You stay here, I'll go. Where are the controls? Captain's nest. Off the bridge. I'm coming with you. No, you're not. Not this time. Stay with Weller and prep the shuttle. But... This is non-negotiable, Lexine. I'm going and you're staying. Got it? Okay. Hey, McNeil. Uh... Good luck. Okay, Captain's Nest. Off the bridge.
Only one way to the bridge now. Stasis in, I'll be chopped to pieces. Be safer there. Use Rella's pistol if you have to.
overseers described it. It's perfect. We must bring it to Earth. We have to make it whole. I'm still in the vents. There's some in here Be too. Careful. I'll see you when you get back. Whoa. Laser trip no in the air shell. Looks like there's shooting out those things coming down here. This'll have to do. I need some help. Looks like a bunch of guys tried to make a last stand and let him shut the door to the security hall. How do I get through? Nate, he can hardly talk. It's all I can do to keep him awake. You'll have to find another way. Damn it. All right, McNeil out. On the bridge deck. Captain's nest is just below my location. Good. Hurry. Well, 
Lars lost a lot of blood. Lexine out. Nest is this way. <laughs> Engines, life support. There.
That should do it. What's going on? Lex, I need to talk to Weller. How's he doing? Hang on. McNeil, some of the cannons are still online. The shutdown process got aborted halfway. Figures? If one cannon malfunctions, the rest can't be disabled. It must be the trench cannon. We crash landed near his power array. Can I disable it from there? Weller's nodding his head. Yes. Okay, Lex. I'm on my way now. McNeil out. Lexine? See if you can find a med kit in the control room. I'll be back soon. I promise.
gravity. Exiting vacuum. There it is. Disabled. I'm on my way back. Please hurry. Weller's in really bad shape and I can't find any painkillers. I said I'm coming! Just... just hold on. I'm going as fast as I can.
find some painkillers. They should work pretty fast. You're not kidding. The cannon stopped. Where's McNeil? He said he was on his way back. That was a while ago, though. Give him a call. We should be ready to go when he arrives. Nate? Nate, this is Lexine. <sighs> Nate! Come in! McNeil! <clears throat> oh, God. He's not... No. Keep trying. Nate! Where are you? Nate! Come in! Lex, what the hell? That's it! We're getting out of here. Nate, Dr. Hoyle, Nicole, I won't let them have died for nothing. Shit! Move! Into the shuttle! Come on!
I'll prep the shuttle. I didn't know you could fly. I can't. But I can figure out how to fire an engine. And you're a better shot than me. Where the hell are you, McNeil? Right now, so are we. Crazies has got their hands on firepower like that. McNeil! Next! Shit, your hand! They'll be fine. Just close the goddamn door. It's over. 
over. We made it. Yeah, we did. Here, take over. We're on course for the sprawl. You just need to monitor the autopilot. There'll be a med kit in the galley. I'm all right. You can wait till we get home. Never thought I'd be so happy about seeing the sprawl. Who'd have guessed we had one last mission in us? <laughs> Not just one last, the last. As of right now, I'm officially retired. <laughs> All right, wake me up when we reach the sprawl. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kellyan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. Hey, this is Ishimura Shuttle 23. Kelly and don't go in there. Do you hear me? Damn it, respond. Come in, Kelly and this is this is Issue Mira, Shuttle 23. Don't go in there. I am warning you. This is a warning. Please do not go in there. Now maybe you'll understand. <laughs> 